Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. We are at Warren Dunes State Park. And Dad, tell me, is this in Indiana or in Michigan? <laughs> This is in Michigan. This is in Michigan? This is as far away from, well, I guess, you know, it might be 60 miles from Chicago because it, if you take a boat, oh. <laughs> yeah, you can get here by boat within 60 miles. It's the um, hypotenuse. Is that the right word? Uh, well, this is more of a parallel, or uh, not a parallelogram, but a, uh, uh, oh, come on, geometry, where are you? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll cut this out of the video. The, tri the, <laughs> the triangle with the right angle, right? There's not much of a triangle. It's more of a uh, uh, rectangle. All right. Anyways, we're here to do, I think it's 3.9 or 4.9 miles today. Uh, it's, it's four and some change. And so we are going to go away from the shore first, hike the outside perimeter, and then come back in towards the shore, hike along the shore, and uh, that'll that'll do it for us for the hike today. Uh, lots of people are out, uh, lots of families, so definitely come on by. It was $9 for the day pass for out of state, and so that's uh, very affordable, very worth it for this kind of an excursion. Hot out today, man. It's like it is hot. 70 degrees or something. Uh, this is a good time for a 360 degree spin. That's some uh, geometry I can get my head around, 360 degrees. The dunes here are just awesome. I mean, these I didn't know the dunes here were this big. They are big. This is like uh, Indiana dunes except in Michigan. So we start with the Mount Randall Trail. We're basically going into the protected wildlife area, which begins here at the parking complex and heads uh, north along the lake. We're gonna go inland, head north, come back to the lake shore, and then walk along the shore to get back here is my understanding of the map. We gotta get our watches started. Oh, yes. All right, we're supposed to do two hikes today. We may only just do one and stay here. Yeah, I think that so might happen. We paid our money, we'll take our chances. Okay. Uh, we got plenty of food and there's a food truck, lots of concessions, bathrooms, everything you could need are here. This is definitely a day unto itself. The water's 64 degrees. And we'll go from there. Peace. Making our way through. I turned on because, you know, we're at the beginning of this. We're going in country and air inland. I assume we're going to get pretty distracted when we start heading back out toward the water and wanting to run down the dunes. But right now, this really does remind me of Indiana dunes as it should. Uh, so I wanted to bring up the topic of snowshoeing. Warren Dunes State Park is open year round. They've got camping. So we didn't check out the camping here ahead of time. It is Saturday night, so, or it would have been last night. I pretty Probably would have been booked. Pretty strong assumption it's booked, but uh, I want to make a note to ourselves for snowshoeing. Yeah, this would be a great snowshoeing spot based yeah. on the success we had at Indiana Dunes State Park. Right. This is what, a four mile deal, so. That would be. That's well, it can't be much harder than the snowshoeing we did along the lakeshore. Right. Well, we're going to have some of that on the way back. But Oh, yeah, you're right. So we'll see. Maybe. But I do like the up and down. We're, we're making some altitude gains. Aside from snowshoeing, if you're preparing for a hiking adventure, both Indiana Dunes and Warren here, are going to give you altitude changes so it might be a good warm-up do a couple of laps of this four miler and get yourself into shape all right well 
We're at the top of one of the one of the dunes. And uh, behind me is Lake Michigan. Yeah, I'm looking. So we're gonna we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down with the camera right here, back toward Lake Michigan. We're gonna go around. We're on top of one of the mounts. We don't know which one. We'll put it in the notes. We're gonna come around and walk down toward those power lines or power poles and around the next big hill back to the lake. So this is, we're kind of at the farthest point, but what I'm noticing, can you see that 94 is right over there? This is actually a spot that when you're on Highway 94, you can actually see. I've never known that. That's pretty awesome. Hawks are in the sky. We're like eye level with the hawks. I always love that. And uh, there's a lot of cotton. Cottonwood. Cottonwood. Floating around up here. Floating in the air. It looks like looks like Christmas. All right. So we're gonna run down on camera, which may look foolish or jiggity or whatever. We've never done this. Jiggity. So we're gonna try it out. We'll see how the 360 works in extreme craziness. Craziness. <laughs> All right, you want me to carry your water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay. Meet you at the bottom. Meet you at the bottom. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Awesome. I always have equipment malfunction while on camera. <laughs> Bel uh, buckle? Hat, no, half fell off. Oh! Right at the beginning, right when you started, the half fell off. Ah. So I was always far away. Here's your water. Thanks. Oh, that was fun. That Let's feels... do it again! Ah. <laughs> feels good to stretch the legs like that. Yeah, that was a big stretch. Yeah. Mm. All right. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Hello. <laughs> Where did he go? We are turned onto trail three. Teen. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen to do a short loop before heading back to trail eight Se to trail 13 seven five is in there okay so there's a we're, confluence of trails right here they all meet up and yeah so we just passed a big sign it says uh welcome to warren dunes state natural area dedicated to present and future generations for enjoyment, study, and education. <laughs> all right, so we're here. We're not gonna say much because the view says it all. So spin around 360 degrees, give you a couple moments here. This is the top. We can see, all, you know, certainly Indiana dunes. You can see- Gary. Gary, right. The, the, so the farthest west hike that we did was basically under that steel mill. If you recall that, that was what Miller Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we can see that now. This now this makes me want to have a boat for yes. Lake Michigan. I've never ever wanted a boat for Lake Michigan until basically like this. Okay, we're gonna run down this. Uh, I guess there. we go over there, yeah. So that's pretty steep. Get my 
knees and ankles ready. Right, here we go. Cool. He is on some thin sliced 21 oat and nut bread. Which looks really cool. Yeah, I, uh, I looked into the brand and everything. It's a brand of bread they make in Oregon and Jewel carries it and it's, it's something that I would eat. And with that, I put some organic peanut butter and peanut butter peanut butter yeah normal peanut butter we haven't had peanut butter in a long time <laughs> and in a, almost a year yeah and to pair with the peanut butter is some jam that i got on sale at jerry's fruit and vegetable market so that's what we got today it's what, what kind of jam uh it was a multi-fruit okay i don't know if we're eating the multi-fruit one and i also used up the rest of my peach so. I can't tell. Me neither. <laughs> so, um, so interesting to go back to peanut butter. I can taste that. Yeah, I can taste the peanut butter. And it tastes like peanut butter, but the pizzazz isn't there. Well, you know what I did is I bought a, a jar of chocolate sunflower butter. That's what I sent you the picture of. Oh, that was chocolate? Yeah. It's a new one. It's a new product that brand just came out with. Sun Butter brand came out with. And so it's sunflower butter chocolate. And it's good for making like vegan cookies with and stuff like that. So I had it on bread. It tastes like Nutella. Yeah. It's super imagine. good, but it doesn't it would not pair well with jam. So Huh. I had to get something else to, to make sandwiches with. <clears throat> I figured I'd go spend less money on the peanut butter rather than more money on the sunflower butter. This is a very similar hike in this part of the terrain as many of the other hikes. You got birding, you can hear the birds in the distance. Lots of vegetation. So I'd say this is the first hike concept. The dunes would be a second hike concept where we're running up and down the dunes and just having a great old dune day. 100% uh -huh. the better shape you're in, the more enjoyment you're gonna get out of those dunes. Yeah, that's so true. Uh, they are hard and heavy. So, and the third would be the lake experience, which we haven't experienced yet, but you know, you could certainly just come here and sit on the beach and go swimming. And that would be a day. That would be worth it. That's what most people are doing. Yeah. I'm bringing the tale of three hikes up because if you do the book hike, as we're experiencing right now, you can get away with basic shoes, basic water and food. You're protected from the sun. Well, we've got a gallon of water we're going through. Right. So if you're out in the dunes, like we're doing a liter an hour easy a piece. And you got to be prepared for that because there is no, there's no shade. Obviously we're coming back in here. There, I mean, there can be shade if you walk to it, but it's a lot of effort and energy to, I'm saying. to go up and down those dunes. Yeah. It's well worth it, but that's hard stuff. Well, we have reached the beach. So looking behind me, you can see the dunes. And a uh, lot of, lot of water traffic in the last couple hours. It's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern time, because we are across the time zone. Wow! How's the water? Good. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go swimming. So. This is nice. We didn't go swimming quite yet. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna finish the hike and then swim. All right, that's gonna do it for us at Warren Dunes State Park in Michigan. 
We hiked about 6.36 miles, more than we expected or intended to, but that's quite all right. It was a lot of fun. We are going to turn the camera off and uh, go swimming for a little bit in Lake Michigan. Uh, this state park is definitely filled up since the time that we parked and started our hiking. Uh, it's a lot of fun though, a lot of good energy. So looking forward to swimming and this is a great place to visit. Uh, whether you are alone with someone or with your family, there's a lot to experience here. Uh, everything from the beach and the lake shore to the forests and woods uh, to, what was that third thing that you said? That you the mentioned? lake. The, the dunes. Just swimming. Yeah, all of it. There's a lot, a lot here. Uh, there's food trucks, there's ice creams, there's restrooms, there's lots of people garbage watching. Garbage cans. People of all walks of life. So, good stuff. Really happy we went out here. Let's go swimming. Yeah. All right, peace. <laughs>